Hello and welcome to another part of the Trans Pennine Trail. This video details the route from Oldmore to Sprotbra. The route can be ridden as an extension to the previous one shown in Finkel Street to Oldmore, or as a much shorter route starting at Oldmore and heading out to Sprotbra before returning. So to start we exit the grounds of the Oldmore Visitor Centre and then head back to the Trans Pennine Trail. When rejoining the Trans Pennine Trail we take the left turn, signposted Trans Pennine Trail East. The map on screen now shows the route we are to take and as you can see much of it is off road and easy to follow. When we hit Harlington there is a small amount of road work to do but then it's back travelling on well maintained trails again. We have a steep descent near Connorsborough which goes down to the River Don, then a tranquil path along the riverside takes us to Boat Inn at Sprotborough. As you can see much of the path on the Trans Pennine Trail on this section is well surfaced, it's quite easy going. Although this is not the most popular section of the Trans Pennine Trail, in summer there is always enough people hanging around to remind you you're not alone. We keep travelling east along the trail and once we get to the bridge not much further after it there's your first road crossing. I don't think I've seen a bike make it through these gates without some clever manoeuvring yet. And here is the first road crossing. It's quite easy to navigate and there's uh, traffic lights available. Here we are approaching the second road crossing. This particular crossing doesn't have any traffic lights and it can get very busy at times so be careful when crossing.
Usually we see a few horses on this section of the trans Trail, but not today. We're approaching a fork in the trail, at this point it's easier to go right. At the end of this path we'll come to a gate and then drain the road for a brief road section through Harlington. As we pass through the gate we turn right and head down to the junction. Once at the junction we'll follow Sarah right down the hill and then take the first left. Turning left we then follow the main road through Harlington. Follow the main road until you approach a left hand bend, then you'll see a well signed right, take the right. The road run now is Mill Lane, this will take us to another off road section running down the side of the River Dern. This gate is usually closed. When you go through it, turn left and go up onto the riverbank. After the long riverside section, we'll do a short stint in the woods before reaching another road crossing. After crossing the bridge we have a short but steep section to navigate. We continue to climb after the corner but it's not as steep. The path eventually flattens out a little bit with slightly undulating sections. If you were to go right at this junction here you go over to the Conisborough Railway Viaduct. It's a great place to look down on the rest of the valley and take in the view. 
The second junction you'll get to before the descent gives you two options. The right is very steep and the left is just steep. Both take to the same place at the bottom of the hill. Once you're below the Consborough Way Viaduct, you have a gentle ride along the path following the route of the River Don. This will take you all the way to Sprotbra. The riverside area of Sprotborough near the lock is very pleasant and attracts a lot of visitors in the summer months. We are here today to grab lunch at the Bow Inn before we return home. After eating lunch we set off back home. Before we get to the scores here's a bit of a tip for you. You'll need to climb up this very steep hill, however if you see this path on your right here it's a much lesser gradient to tackle. If you take the right fork you can just mosey on up the hill at a very casual pace. Ok now for the scores. For time taken we awarded this route two wheels. It should take between two to three hours with your dinner break included. We awarded two wheels out of five for distance it's around nine miles each way, coming in around 18. Terrain we also awarded two wheels. It's a mixed bag but nothing too strenuous. The steep descent and the mixed surface types might offer some kind of challenge so we awarded technical difficulty two wheels out of five. Overall this section of the Transparent Trail is a great route. We usually manage to fit it into our cycling calendar two to three times per year as it's become a favourite of ours. Overall we awarded this section of the Transparent Trail three wheels out of five. If you've got some good weather and want a bike ride where you can have a decent meal at the end, try out this section of the Transparent Trail from Old Motor Sprotbra. If you have any questions you can use the comments section below. Did you enjoy the video? If so, please like and share. Want to see more of the routes that we cycle? Then please subscribe. If you would like to see another video right away then there are a selection on the screen for you now. We have Finkel Street to Oldmoor along the TPT, Sherwood Pines Blue Rue and the Blackamoor Circuit. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay safe out there on the trails.